Hello everyone, it's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with the latest Manchester United news. It's a Monday and of course Manchester United have not played for a whole week and we're all out here like, oh. <laughs> my team ain't playing, everyone else is playing and we're not playing. We ain't seen our team play but guess what guys, let's not get emotional. Your boy Ivorian Spice is back at it again with your latest Manchester United news. Topics of the day, of course, about first and foremost for those, of course, who haven't subscribed to the channel. Make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share, of course, because you're loving your boy Ivorian Spice. Sharing Ivorian Spice is caring. But first of all, let's get it straight out of the way because I know what you guys are here for. You're here for that Manchester United news. On the agenda today, of course, we've got Manchester United who are looking or who are prepared to get a holy midfielder in the January transfer window. And of course, Jesse Lingo's future to talk about and our new potential coming in, which will be confirmed. Our CEO, Richard Arnold, will become Manchester United CEO. Who will be replacing Ed freaking Woodward? But it is what it is. But let's start it off, guys, of course, in your smallest segment. Yes, Manchester United are prepared to find a holding midfielder, to bid or to recruit, whatever it is. Manchester United are looking for a holding midfielder in the January transfer window. And of course, guys, you have heard so many players linked in the past under the old regime, you know, the name we shouldn't say. Someone, aka Lord Voldemort, the name we couldn't say. And guys, you don't want to say it. Just in case we get jinxed, he might just appear. I'm afraid to say this guy's name five times like his candy man because he might appear back at Old Trafford and be like, I'm back! We don't want that. Yes, guys, but yes, Manchester United have looked at the likes of Declan Rice in the past, Tushana May as well, Kamavinga, but of course, one of the most latest news that you guys definitely heard of and you guys definitely know who this player is, which is, of course, RB Lightships holding midfielder. I'm going to do Sorry, guys. How can I forget his name? Sorry. Amadou Hadera. Hadera has been linked to Manchester United ever since the work, ever since Ralph Ragnar himself has come into the job. And we are extremely pleased. This is what this guy looks like. Him standing right next to Jude Bellingham, who is also is a midfielder that Manchester United are interested in. But, of course, this news coming from the Manchester United Evening News as well. The United reports on Twitter did tweet as well that Manchester United are looking and are targeting and holding midfielder in January transfer window. The likes of Hamadou Hadera has been sort of. Manchester United have kept an eye on him. It says here right now, guys, as you read, Manchester United are prepared to move for a holding midfielder in January transfer window. Figures at United were in agreement in the summer. The midfielder had to be prioritised next year and the club is prepared to back the interim manager, Ralph Ragnar, in the new year. And of course, guys, you're wondering, what do you mean? Of course, Manchester United wanted to sign the holding midfielder during the summer. But the whole of not knowing that they were going to get Cristiano Ronaldo changed things. So with Manchester United getting Cristiano Ronaldo, it meant that they couldn't afford to get a holding midfielder, which I believe Manchester United could have. But that stomped Manchester United going for someone like Eduardo Camavinga, hence why he's at Real Madrid. The article also goes on to continue to say that United midfielder differences were exposed. And again, during the last months of former manager Oli Lord Voldemort reign, and the new Norwegian used seven different midfielder combinations, which none of them had probably like Donny van der Beek and Fred, Donny van der Beek or Pogba, anything but McFred. He never done that. Or Matt Titch van der Beek, what we saw. Not not enough. Most of the times it was McFred getting run through, getting fingered at times, you know. You know, I used to call Manchester United the woman on a Saturday night out drunk in the bar and she's by herself. You can easily swoop that up and have your way with them. I am not promoting anything like that, but guys, you know what I'm talking about. But yes, Ragnar's preference for a double six, two holding midfielders gives the German a compelling case for a mid-season investment, provided the ideal profile player is available. 
This article talks about RB Leipzig midfielder Amadou Hadera, formerly of Red Bull Salzburg, which got picked up by himself, Ragnick himself. You know, what a man that can spot out gems for cheap. You know, it's like finding a diamond in the middle of the mud, you know. you got to have the eye for it to, to spot gems. And, of course, as I was saying before, has become an interest to United due to Ragnick's eight years stint at sporting director of Red Bull Group. But Hadera is due to be on African Cup of Nation duty with Mali next month. United have specifically targeted the French market for midfielder reinforcement in recent years, but their French scout, Roman Parrot, joined Arsenal in the summer. Okay, United denied reports of the summer. They were interested in signing Trishemeni. You know, guys, have, well, he was linked in the summer as well, especially in the Nations Cup final. And may not have been linked with other players as well. But in my opinion, it would be ideal for Manchester United to get holding midfielder because a holding midfielder has been something that Manchester United has been lacking and needed a strong, combative midfielder that will sweep up and keep the play going, guys. You got to let me know what your thoughts on that. Should Manchester United definitely go for a holding midfielder in January? This is something that I would like for you guys to tell me. Second on the list, guys, of today's news is Jesse Lingard finally deciding that he would like to stay and fight for his position at Manchester United, which I I am, I am baffled at because I don't believe, I can't even believe this. It says here, Lingard set to stay. This is from the One Football app. This comes from the Football Faithful itself. Lingard set to stay at Manchester United beyond January windows. Yes, Lingard set to stay at Manchester United beyond the January transfer windows with the midfielder keen to fight for his place in Ralph Ragnett's plan. Lingard has failed to start a single Premier League fixture so far this season. His eight appearances having all come as a substitute with his minutes limited to cup competition. 29-year-old. Lingard is 29. These times I call him a young talent. You see, he's almost 30. So he needs to find himself. So the 29-year-old is out of contract at the end of the campaign and has been linked with a move to Newcastle and West Ham next month. Having starred during a loan spell at the letter, at the letter during the second half of last season, you know, um, Lingard scored nine goals and 16 goals appearances, but the Hammers for the Hammers, but he has failed to regain his place with the Red Devils since during his return at Old Trafford. Which I have to say, with Jesse Lingard, guy, I don't know what you guys think of it, but Jesse Lingard, bro, look at the club. What are you doing? Sell him, let go of him, get rid in general, make some money, make some more love, Manchester United. Don't you want to make some money so you can buy a holding midfielder without no problem? Eh, eh, amigo, what's going on, Manchester, bro? I, in my honest opinion, I feel like Manchester United should let it go. Let him go. Jesse Lingard, let go. Because at the end of the day, if he doesn't get the game time, he will be going on a free transfer. You know, let's 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 make our money before we cut all of our losses, you know. It's better like that. Guys, you let me know what your thoughts are on this Jesse Lingard situation. Should Manchester United sell Jesse Lingard? Because I'm interested to hear what you guys got to say. Or should they keep him or give try and offer him a new contract? Because I don't see Jesse Lingard getting that much game time. You know, we got not tight the Carabao Cup. We've got the FA Cup to play in the Champions League. We never know, but we shall see. It's very interesting to see something like that, you know. And I hope Jesse Lingard himself makes the right decision. What the, And your final news, guys, the last one is Richard Arnold. Yes, Richard Arnold is set to be announced as Chief Executive Officer at Manchester United after Edward will be dropping his pen or I, I don't even know what to say hanging his pen he's a ceo what do ceos do because i i thought they write and look for stuff investment you know professional stuff well anyway let's just say it like that he'll be hanging his pen soon i mentioned i had to become a consultant for one year which we, we we don't need but again you always need someone that you need to rely on when you've just stepped into a role you know to give you advice but as you say, this is coming from the people's person on the One Football app. Make sure you guys download the One Football app. Yes, Manchester United are set to announce Richard Arnold as the club's new chief executive officer following the resignation of Edward Wood, which happened last season. You know, sometimes during the whole, you know, um, Super League, after that, he was meant to resign. I've never heard of a six months um, res um, notice because normally a position like that, it may take six months or it should be three months if you're a high position. But then again, as a HR student, a HR graduate, I should know that a position like that 
it's a six month notice. So technically, yeah, it makes sense. But yes, I'm saying the outgoing executive vice chairman resigned in April after a, a cash throwing that followed the announcement of the European Super League. Onun has been at the club since 2005 and has served as managing director since 2013. According to Sky News, the club could announce the promotion of their director to the New York Stock Exchange as early as today within the next couple of uh, couple of days. Can you imagine? Um, Woodward will remain at the club in consultancy role for a number of months, guys, when he finally leaves his current club. And I want to read you guys something, you know, because it says something about Edward Wood in this article that you guys will laugh at, you know. During the window, I mean, during Woodward's time at the club, United have seen their worst trophy drought since the mid-1980s after not winning a trophy since the Europa League win in 2017. We And it's been like this. And people call it as a United fan took to Twitter to complain about the soon-to-be-confirmed promotion with some com completely puzzled by the decision of other claiming it, cl claiming it is painful and shame sh and shambles shambles glazonomics said one fan as you can see there shambles glazonomics. and it is glazonomics that's what they're doing right there they want to make that moolah you know they want to keep the guys boys for the job in the job and it's really really impressive but it wasn't a surprise because we always knew that richard arnold would become ceo of the ed woodward we was all hoping that it would be a different ed edwin van der Sar taking over but we shall see we shall wait and see but anyway, guys, this has been your Manchester United latest news slash transfer news and updates and etc. As always, remember to follow the official Instagram account in the description as well and also above there as well. Make sure you subscribe to Red United TV. Make sure you like and smash that like button as well. Make sure you share. Make you, you let me know what your thoughts were on um, Manchester United's holding midfielder in January. Um, which is Amadou de Adara, Lingard to stay, and also Richard Arnold's appointment that is soon to be announced. But till then, guys, as you know, there is no catch up this week. Mention that I've not been playing. <laughs> but, guys, hopefully by the end of this week, we'll have a match reaction. We're just hoping so. I just don't know, guys. But it is what it is. But if it is, but it's been your match, if it is, sorry, but I say it's been your match right now. It's been your latest news, guys. Till next time, till tomorrow, we shall get next news as well. Of course, you'll get your news every day. So press that notification bell, guys. So when I go live, you will know. When I upload, you will know. As always, guys, remember to keep it united. Remember to keep it ready united because your boy is out. Peace.